I did have the opportunity to work with then Representative Shelley Moore Capito when she was on the House Transportation Committee, of which I was ranking member. And we worked very closely together on issues that affected West Virginia in regards to infrastructure. Uh, I found it a delight working with uh, Senator Capito, and I still do and have since uh, my departure from the Congress. Uh, we've worked together on not only infrastructure, but the New River Gorge National Park and Preserve, of which she was a major sponsor in the United States Senate with Senator Manchin on a bipartisan effort. I have had the honor of uh, serving with uh, Senator Capito in various positions literally over two decades. I remember when we were both in the West Virginia legislature, the House of Delegates, a number of years ago. She was a passionate advocate for her constituents, a champion for West Virginia, and to see her then migrate to the U.S. Congress and the House of Representatives and then to be our United States Senator, it is a true honor and pleasure having worked with her all these years to see all the incredible things she has done for our state and mostly appreciate the friendship that we have shared over all these years. We were at a, a water dedication in a rural area, uh, probably at that time moderate Democrat, and it was muddy. And so it was, I, I got there a little early. We were waiting on her to come and it's as she comes up this, if you imagine coming up a field, it's muddy, it's a construction site, and she's bearing a box. And I think, what in the world is in this big box? And she gets up there and it turns out she has brought a birthday cake for one of the water officials whose birthday it is that day. And I thought that kind of attention to detail and also attention to a constituent's personal needs uh, and interests, that, that will carry her very far, and it did. And what I was always impressed with then Congress, uh, a representative Capito, uh, and of course, Senator Capito, was her attention to constituent services. I think that that makes a difference, whomever you are, whatever your party is, and she just carried it out and, and conducted constituent services, I thought, to a great, uh, great level. It was uh, upon my departure in uh, late 2014, uh, she gave a, a highly complimentary goodbye salute to me uh, during a session, during a final session of the House Transportation and Infrastructure Committee that year. And uh, I was truly grateful for her kind words. And uh, that's something that will always stand out in my memory of working with Senator Capito. Uh, Route 35, which is a very dangerous piece of highway in our state. I forget, I think it's roughly 35 to 40 miles long. And when I was in the house, in the in the halcyon days of earmarks, I was able to get the first two miles in in uh, along the Ohio River, first two miles of four lane for Route 35. But after that, they told me the highway department, the feds uh, said, you're never gonna get the rest of it done. She got it done and she worked closely uh, with Senator, Ma then Governor Manchin, now Senator Manchin, the two of them, Democrat, Republican, she was able to drive additional funding to make it happen. Uh, he was able, to, and then she worked with uh, then Governor Tomlin and now Governor Justice. But the point is that she really made Route 35 happen. I may have started the first two miles. She has a lot to do with the last 35. By her position as a ranking member of the Environment and Public Works Committee in the Senate and a member of the Appropriations Committee and numerous other committees, she has used her position very well to uh, protect West Virginia's environment and also to bring to West Virginia the infrastructure projects needed. Through her bipartisan effort, along with uh, 13 of her Republican colleagues in the Senate, uh, working with the Democrats, the bipartisan infrastructure bill that passed has meant continued funding in West Virginia for major roadways that were already in the pipeline, but now are much more along the pipeline progress to successful completion. Uh, not only infrastructure, uh, but also included in infrastructure, I might add, is, in, uh, is broadband. 
and her efforts to bring broadband to West Virginia and expand it to the rural areas of our state are highly commendable and will prove to be uh, much needed in West Virginia for decades and generations to come. You know, West Virginia is in a much different place today. Uh, we have been able to pay down our debts and our unfunded pension liabilities. We have been able to address some really challenging issues uh, that have been uh, a burden on West Virginia. Uh, and Senator Capito has always been at the forefront championing uh, things to address our problems, but also capturing unique opportunities to move our state forward. And she has been instrumental in putting us in such a good place today. Our future in West Virginia has never been brighter. Just recently, we have had some major economic development announcements, some of the biggest in our state's history. And Senator Capito, her work in Washington, uh, just uh, her genuine commitment to our state and its future and its people uh, comes shining through each and every day. I think Senator Capito has brought to West Virginia what is necessary for this country. And that is a, a sense of, I'm listening to you. Uh, I, am, I, will, I will strive to be bipartisan. I will work across the aisle and I'm interested in common sense solutions. What I have observed and, and feel very strongly about with Senator Capito is that she's someone you can approach. She listens. She may not always agree with you. She'll be polite and tell you why she doesn't agree with you, or, or she'll try to meet you where uh, in the middle if she can. And so I think that's what's important about Senator Capito. I'm sure that Senator Capito will continue her efforts on behalf of our great state. Uh, she comes from a family that has dedicated their careers uh, to West Virginia, and she will continue uh, to do that. I look forward to the friendship with she and her husband, Charlie. And uh, again, I just uh, salute her, her excellent leadership for our state.